Hey everybody! So we are back out here at one of our cornfields, and they've been growing like crazy. They've been growing like weeds. Now this entire field that I'm at is entirely corn. This entire hillside is, and as you can see, the plants are starting to throw ears, and they're starting to throw silks with them. Now I can't be totally sure on how many of these ears will stay. On most corn plants, at least one will stay. Sometimes two, and occasionally three. That can really vary depending on how well, how well it's fertilized, and just how well overall the plant is doing. So, here we got a corn plant just last week. I came through and, uh, well, heck it was three days ago, I came down here and the tassel up on top was still down underneath and you could feel it but you still couldn't see it and it's really shot up over the last few days. So from this point the corn has entered a reproductive stage and it's starting to throw out silks. What will happen is that the tassels on top, this is where your pollen is located, the pollen will drop down from the tassels and it will, the pollen will hit these silks and when pollen hits these silks the pollen will travel down the silk and down to the ear to its according kernel. So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear out one of these plants and take a look at the roots. Now before I even take, take it out, you can look at a few plants along here and you can see the brace roots. The brace roots are cut back. Corn rootworm will come along here and they'll snip off these brace roots. And this isn't real bad. So I've seen some corn plants where they're cut back maybe three brace roots and that's pretty nasty and you should probably do something about that because you're starting to see some um, yield issues with it. If you take a, look, a long look at the bottom leaves on these plants, You'll notice that on some of the leaves, such as this one right here, we have some yellowing on the lowest on the lower leaf. It's not the, the lowest leaf, but it's one of the lower leaves. You'll see that occasionally throughout here and there, such as over there you'll see it. Now this is a symptom of nitrogen deficiency. The reason the corn plants do that is because nitrogen is very mobile in, in corn and any plant really. It's very mobile. Cons uh, compared to many of the other nutrients. So what the corn plants will do is they'll start pulling nutrients from the bottom leaves because they don't really need them anymore. They're not getting as much sunlight and they're not really as useful to the plant as they could be. So the corn starts pulling nitrogen out of the lower leaves and that's where you'll get spots such as that. And it'll start sending it up to where it needs it, whether it's the top leaves or straight to the ears so that it kind of a make sure that it doesn't affect yield as much. Now I'm going to go get my shovel and dig up one of these babies and see what the rooks look like. There we go. Better. Now the field that this corn plant came out of is all continuous corn. I believe this is the second or third year in rotation and this entire hillside is not contoured such as many of our other hillsides as you can see down over the hill over there. So I pulled up this plant. You can see some of the roots. Some of them are very long. I managed to cut off some of them because I just couldn't dig that deep with a shovel. So I'm gonna try to find the original corn seed. After a few good whacks on the mule, I've managed to find the seed. So I'm actually kind of astounded that I found it this easily. And if you look very, very closely, What does that look like to you? Now when we came through and planted this field, there were two colors of seeds that we had. One type of seed was refuge and the other wasn't. I believe it's at 5 or 10% now, I'm not exactly sure what the exact uh, ratio that they're down to now. But a certain number of corn or a certain number of seeds that you plant are refuge seeds and what these seeds are, what they do is that 
they're intended to provide sanctuary, I guess you could say, for corn rootworm because they're having issues where they were using insecticides so heavily on corn rootworm that they started to become resistant to it. So the idea behind this refuge is that since these corn plants are traded against corn rootworm, they would leave in a few plants here and there so that the breeding population of corn rootworm would interbreed so that the general population would be overall reduced by the traded corn so that you're seeing a boost of yield. And it used to be higher. They used to require a higher amount of refuge seed, but um, I believe it's down now because it's been so effective. So if you look at this seed, there's hardly anything left of it, whether it's because I was whacking it against the mule or whatever else. But that coloring identifies this seed as a refuge plant. And it's kind of surprising that I managed to pull up a refuge plant because it's such a small minority. But you'll actually see the brace roots here. And that's because corn rootworm has been snipping off the brace roots on this plant. These really should be longer. So what's going to start happening now is that the pollen is going to start pollinating the silks and we'll start pollinating the kernels. The silks will dry up and then the corn plant will start putting nutrients into the kernel of corn down in the ear. And some people might say that, oh, if you're not, uh, if these ears aren't coming to their full potential, aren't coming out, then it's not fertilized correctly. Well, we might have a few spots of nitrogen deficiency in the bottom lower leaves here, but unless you're really, really fertilizing your corn plants, often you'll see maybe sometimes three or four ears on a plant, but they will always go back in because to produce that, to produce that many ears, it takes a lot out of the, a lot out of the plant. So what you'll often see is they'll go back into the plant itself. So I hope you guys learned a little bit of something from this video and I didn't kill that corn plant for nothing. <laughs> It's no big deal. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my other videos. Um, and I look forward to keeping you guys updated on the status of the corn. And see where it goes from here. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.